Thank you, everybody, for coming to the Aaron Torres Podcast YouTube page. If you could do me a quick favor, see that little subscribe button at the bottom of your screen? Go ahead, click that subscribe button. Really does help our channel grow, our audience grow, and I really do appreciate it more than you know. So click that subscribe button. Appreciate your support. Now, here's the video that you came here for. Hey, I'm back. Good to be back. Good to be back. Uh, so... If you are watching this, first of all, I'm actually recording late Saturday night, Sunday morning, as a matter of fact, just hosted Fox Sports Radio until 2 a.m. Eastern time. But I could not go to sleep without sharing some thoughts on the Kentucky-Georgia game. Obviously, you're all watching on Sunday morning. But Georgia, the number one team in the country, survives in Lexington. The final score, Georgia 13, Kentucky 12. Of course, if it was just Georgia surviving, we would not be talking about it here on an early Sunday morning. Why we are talking about it is because of the shocking, stunning, and bluntly what I believe to be just flat out wrong decision as Mark Stoops inside his own 50 with about three minutes to go decides to punt the ball to Georgia. Georgia essentially runs out the clock. Kentucky gets the ball back with under 10 seconds to go. And I will say this. I know there's going to be some revisionist history and the analytics said this and the data said that. I don't care. You had the number one team in the country on the ropes at home. You had a chance to make a statement to a fan base that is so frustrated, rightfully so, coming off of last week. And you decide to punt. You essentially don't get the ball back, and it's just one of those just face palm. What are we doing, Mark Stoops? I just cannot believe the decision by Mark Stoops. Okay, so let's get into it. Let's dive in. If you're watching this, I'm sure you know the context. But first of all, I think the important context is, is pretty straightforward. Georgia comes in to the credit. Let's make sure we credit Mark Stoops. To the credit of Mark Stoops and his staff, the game plan was unbelievable, okay? defense played lights out defense was phenomenal and the defense puts you in the position against the number one team in the country to have a chance to win the game late where it gets interesting you have the ball and i just laid it out but let me relay it out for anybody who doesn't know you have the ball you get the, well, i guess you technically run the ball on first down then you pass it on second down you pass it on third down it ultimately leads to a situation. I just want to make sure that I have this correct. I'm going to pull it up on the score sheet just so I make sure I don't miss it. You have the ball. It's fourth and eight on the Georgia 47-yard line. You're trailing 13 to 12 with 303 left in the game. Okay. And so it's fourth and eight. You have a penalty which sets you up to fourth and 13. But at the end of the day, I just simply don't agree with the decision by Mark Stoops to punt. Now, the argument is, and again, I know there are some Kentucky fans that believe that you made the right decision, but you had all three timeouts. And obviously, remember, in college football in 2024, one of the new rules, we have the two-minute timeout. Don't call it the two-minute warning. The two-minute timeout at the two-minute mark. So essentially, Kentucky had four timeouts with about three minutes to go. And so if you're defending Mark Stoops, that is what you would say. He has four timeouts. The defense has stopped him all night. And in Mark Stoops' defense, Georgia got sort of lucky, right? Because they're they're inching towards the first down line. Uh, the tight end, I believe it was Oscar Delp, uh, dives, get the ball gets loose. And then, you know, it's a fumble. Georgia recovers it. It gives him a new set of downs, whatever. So I understand that there are people out there that are probably saying it was the right decision for Mark Stoops to punt the ball inside his own 50 and to try and play defense. Mark Stoops, by the way, I heard the post-game audio. He defended the decision, said he would do it again if he had the chance. Bluntly, I don't care. Bluntly, I disagree. And bluntly, in this case, context matters. And I just do not believe that it was the right decision at all, okay? So first of all, here's the first piece of context, okay? I understand that we're now in a 12-team playoff era, okay? I understand that no one loss has any impact in whatever, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, you're Kentucky, okay? 
And I think what matters is this, is that you are coming off of a loss to South Carolina last week that was flat out embarrassing, okay? Your team wasn't ready to play. They got pushed around. The offensive line looked terrible. Defense couldn't stop anybody, whatever. Defense actually wasn't even bad. They gave like 250 yards, okay? But at the same time, you're coming off an embarrassing loss to South Carolina. You're Kentucky, and I, I hope this doesn't come off as disrespectful. But this is, we're not talking about you're on the verge of the playoff, and if you lose this game, you're eliminated from the playoff. That's not what you're not nine and two fighting for the 11 seed uh, in mid November. It's mid September. You've already taken a loss. And bluntly, a win over Georgia is going to be bigger than anything else that happens this year. And so to me, you're at home. You have largely outplayed the number one team in the country all game long. You have the ball inside the 50, okay? what is? Let's even just backtrack. What is the best case scenario if you're Mark Stoops? And I understand with the penalty, it's fourth and 13, whatever. But what is the best case scenario? You punt the ball to them, you get three and out, you get the ball back with two and change, whatever, and you still have to go the other way. What is the worst case scenario now? It's not quite what we saw, but pretty close. Georgia, I understand they were struggling to move the ball on you all night, but if they pick up a first down, the game is essentially over, okay? And so this is why, to me, it was the wrong decision because context matters, and the context is this if you're Mark Stoops. The context is that your fan base, I believe, is as frustrated with you coming into this game as they have ever been since the moment you took the job. For the most part, and we talked about this after the loss, Mark Stoops has lived up to his end of the bargain. I say it all the time. I can be critical of him while also acknowledging that he is the best coach that Kentucky football has ever had in my life and maybe the best coach that they ever will have, okay? But at the same time, you are coming off a loss as we just discussed, which is embarrassing via South Carolina. Third straight loss to South Carolina. It's not the toughest game on your schedule. And your fan base is as furious as they have ever been with you, okay? And so you have Georgia on the ropes. And yes, you can punt the ball back, hope to pin them deep, hope to play field position, hope you get the ball back with whatever. But at the same time, that is the that is a best case scenario that may may happen, but very realistically won't happen. As I said, a first down doesn't exactly end the game, but it comes pretty darn close. And so to me, this is a moment for you, Mark Stoops. This is a moment where you can sit there and say, you know what, Kentucky fans, I know you're frustrated about last week, but I know you're frustrated with this close to the vest defensive football. I played at Iowa, Iowa football type style that we play, okay? And this has been my criticism of Mark Stoops, and it's a conversation we've had on this show for years. I respect Mark Stoops. I respect what he has built. But he coaches this team as if it is still the scrappy underdog that has no chance, and the only way we can win is field position and punt and pray and this and that and whatever. And so this was a moment in time to, to grab your you know, earmuffs, you know what, and say, you know what, I'm tired of playing it conservative. I'm tired of playing it tight. We have the number one team on the ropes here. Let's go for it. Let's let me prove that I am not afraid in a big moment. Okay. And I know what people will say is if you don't get it, the fans are going to be just as mad. I actually fundamentally disagree in Kentucky fans. You can drop comments in the comment section. I think that yes, no matter what decision you make, if you punt the ball, you're going to have fans that are furious. If you decide to go for it and don't get it, you're going to have fans that are furious as well. But I actually fundamentally disagree. Listen, there's always going to be social media. There's always going to be message boards. There's always going to be, no matter what decision you make, you could say the sky is blue and there's going to be people on message boards saying, oh, well, you know. Blah, blah. But at the same time, when you look at this situation, I think if you went for it and if you didn't get it, I think most fans would have been okay with it 
because it shows something that you haven't been willing to do, which is go for it, okay? Here's the other part that I haven't even talked about yet. Guess what ends up happening if you go for it and you don't get it? If the argument is that Georgia has not moved the ball on you all game long, guess what? The argument is that Georgia hasn't moved the ball on you, then guess what? Guess what ends up happening? You get the fir- If you don't get the first down, you still have the three timeouts. They're still getting the ball at midfield, and they still need to go probably 20 to 25 yards just to get in a field goal range, and then guess what? The bottom line is you still have all the same timeouts. You still have the two-minute warning, and even then, if you can just even hold them to a field goal, you get the ball back with time and with time with a chance to win the game. And so to me, and by the way, here's the other counter to it, is if you're Kentucky, remember, your field goal kicker has already hit, what, a 51-yard field goal earlier in this game, if my math is correct. I I don't have that stat right off the top of my head. Let me make sure that this is right, because I think it is. I believe your kicker, yes, Alex Rayner hit a 51-yard field goal earlier in the fourth quarter. So if you get the first down, You're not quite in field goal range, but you're pretty darn close. And at that point, you can chew up the clock to get into field goal range to kick a potential game-winning field goal. And so I look at this decision. Again, I know that Kentucky fans are going to try to sell me, well, you know, uh, uh, it wasn't. Part of the fan base is going to sell sell you it was the right decision. I'm sure there is some analytic that says once you get to fourth in this, at this point in the field, you have to punt the ball and hope for the best. I do think context matters, though. I do think context matters, and I do think the context here is pretty straightforward, is that you had a chance a week after losing to South Carolina, after getting embarrassed by South Carolina, you had a chance to show your fan base, I'm not afraid, it's not always about ball control, and that, yes, we can go out there and just win a game and not be afraid, and it's not all whatever. You didn't do it, and I think Kentucky fans have every right to be frustrated. Again, if you think it's the right play call, play decision, that's fine. I just fundamentally disagree. I think this was a moment to prove something if you're Mark Stoops. He doesn't, and Kentucky takes a loss to Georgia. All right, I think that's it for my 2 a.m. Eastern reaction to this 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 play. We'll have plenty more on the Sunday Night Aaron Torres pod. We'll go live at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, as I'm recording, Billy Napier has not been fired, so if Billy Napier doesn't get fired, this is probably going to lead the show. We'll talk about it more. We'll take some of your comments, but I had to do a quick reaction here on a Sunday morning. We'll have more on this decision, more on a crazy Saturday in college football. Appreciate your support. Tune in 7 p.m. Eastern time for the full episode, full show. We'll be back in just a couple hours.